In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get rid of the two Wi-Fi icons if it's in your system tray in Ubuntu Mate 18.04. And I have Ubuntu Mate 18.04.01 on my system, the long-term support. This may work for earlier versions I haven't tried. And if you're watching this on YouTube months from now or years from now, it may work on future versions, but I don't know. Uh, to start with, I do have a link below the video that shows you all the illustrated steps to what I did to remove my two icons. As you can see, last June, and I know it's hard to see in this picture, so I kind of have it zoomed in and cropped off here. June of last year in 2018, uh, and around that time period, that's when I started experiencing some trouble with the two Wi-Fi icons in the system tray up here at the top in the upper right panel. Now, the first way I did to, as a temporary solution for fixing it, I googled and looked for older problems in Ubuntu, and I tried that, and that didn't get rid of it. But I did find a file, and that's the name of the file that I downloaded. And if you're using Ubuntu or Ubuntu Mate 18.04, you can click the name of this file, and it will take you to this web page here. Now, this is for Ubuntu 18.04, Ubuntu the long-term support, Bionic Beaver, and I have the Mate, and this worked for mine, and it was a temporary fix. Now, the reason I'm showing you that is because after I did this, later I did the solution which fixed mine, and I don't know if you need this file or not, so I'm showing you that just to be sure if you do or don't. Now, here is the 32-bit version of that file. I have a 64-bit machine, so I just simply downloaded... Uh, I mean, here's the 32-bit version of it. This is the 64-bit, and this is what I clicked on, Download and Install. Now, if you're not using Ubuntu or Ubuntu Mate, and you're using another uh, flavor of Linux, you can click here, locate your Linux distribution if it's on this list. Like if you're using Ubuntu 18.10, you can download it for 64 bits and 32 and install that. And that was a temporary fix. And the reason I say temporary fix, it would have probably worked for a long time. But when I started adding additional icons on my to my system tray, when I started to remove those icons or prevent them from loading up during startup, that's when my issue started back. So I had to find another solution for that. So when I started running Redshift, uh, it would, and I had it to auto start. And when I started running Shutter, and when I had it to start at logon, it created two files in my auto config folder. And later I thought, well, I don't need Redshift to come on, even though I can have it suspended for a given period of time. I didn't want it to turn on every time my system come on. Late at night, if I needed Redshift, I could go and enable that through my menu. So I don't need it every time my computer starts. The same thing for Shutter. I do have a default uh, screen capturing tool. But I do like Shutter sometimes for other features like capturing in menus. And when I want to edit a screenshot, it has the built-in editor. So from time to time, I'll access it through the menu. So I don't need it every time I start my computer. As you can see here, I've recently used it because I took some of the screenshots for what you see on this web page. And so I loaded it, but I didn't have it to auto start. So if I were to go into my and start Redshift, and then if I go up here, and I right click or left click on Redshift and I say auto start and then let me right click on shutter now you can see the screen starting to turn red if I right click on shutter and hit preferences and I click on start at logon and I hit close now normally if I were to go up here and I don't want to say or left click I don't want to just say quit because it still has auto start checked so even if I check uncheck enable now the screens brightening back up if I don't want this to load every single time, I should be able to uncheck this. And that way the next time I reboot my system, Redshift should not start, and it won't. And if I right click on here and go back to Preferences, and if I uncheck Start Shutter at Logon, and I hit the Close button, the next time I reboot my system, Shutter should not start. However, watch this, instead of rebooting, I'm going to right click, say Quit, I'm going to right click this one, and say quit. Now right, Redshift and Shutter has been shut down. Now there is a auto config folder on your computer and I'm going to show you how you can access it. There's images on here if you don't keep up, if you can't keep up with me on the video. So you go to your file manager. I'm using the Kaha file manager in Ubuntu 18.04. Now here you can only see the folders that are viewable by default. 
you want to go to view show hidden files and it should say show hidden files and folders because there's a folder that's hidden that we need to open up when I click on it notice all the files and folders here's some files with periods or dots and here's some folders with periods or dots these are hidden folders that you normally don't see and this is the folder that we're going to open up the config folder when you double click it it will open and inside of here you have a folder called auto start when I double click auto start as you can see I do have a conkey running in the background as you can see this conkey right here uh, loads when my system starts up and it and I want it to load so I'm not gonna mess with the conkey file but notice I don't have redshift running anymore and I don't have shutter running anymore and even if I were to reboot my system shutter would still be in this folder and redshift would still be in this folder so if I want to get rid of these I first must make sure I disable them from loading up during startup within the program because if I d deleted this folder and deleted it or file and deleted this file if it was still enabled it would create that file during startup so now I select both of these I press the delete button and they're gone the next time I reboot my system they will not load up and even though I had them unchecked sometimes those files even though they're not going to load during startup since they're in the auto start it messes up some setting with the Wi-Fi icon to where it causes it to display two of those and I realized for my system when I deleted the files that I'm no longer using from my auto start the next time I reboot I only have one icon in the system tray so I don't know if you need the file that I showed you at the beginning it helped it temporarily helped and start until I started enabling software to load at startup and then I chose to unenable them or to not allow them to start and in the future if you're using Ubuntu Mate you can try this and remove any file that you don't want started but here's the key thing always go into that program and uncheck to load at startup to make sure it's not loading at startup because if you delete those and the program has loaded startup it will create that file again you want to delete all the files that you're not using at startup and that should remove your two icons to where every time you boot your system you will have one Wi-Fi icon in your system tray now if you found this video on YouTube and you're using another version of Linux uh, this method may not look, work for the version that you're using what I'd like for you to do is to post the fix for what version you have put the version you have and the solution that fixed yours so if someone else is looking for a solution if what I'm providing here on my webpage and on the video doesn't work they can scroll down and look at the comments and see what the other people in the Linux community did to fix theirs that way they won't have to use Google and spend hours uh, looking for a solution people in the Linux community can help one another and help newbies that are coming over to Linux fix problems that may be irritating now as I said on my webpage at the beginning this is not really a big problem everything worked it just didn't look very nice when I screen captured and had two Wi-Fi's I didn't want them on my webpage and I definitely didn't want them on my YouTube videos when I make a video and post it on YouTube but this is the solution that worked for me and hopefully it will work for you as well and have a great day